Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, I'll walk you through the process of creating and replacing the countdown timer on my Canva template. Let's get started. After purchasing my template, open the PDF file provided. If you bought the bundle, you'll notice several links. For this tutorial, click on the website invitation link to edit the countdown timer. Once the link opens, select Use Template for New Design to create a copy of the Canva project. Next, head over to tickcounter.com. Before we continue, be sure to explore my Etsy store. We don't just sell Canva templates, we offer a variety of personalized products, including phone cases, t shirts, wall art, mugs, and many more. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest for more design ideas and tutorials. Links are in the description and bio. Back to the video. This website allows you to create a beautiful countdown timer. Start by entering your wedding date. Then input your wedding time. If you want the countdown to repeat, you can check the box, but for now, we'll leave it unchecked. Select your time zone. You can give your countdown timer a name, but I'll uncheck this option since I only want the timer and unit labels displayed. Choose your preferred font. For this template, I'll go with Times New Roman. Next, select your desired language. I'll stick with English for this example. Leave the remaining settings as they are. We'll make any necessary adjustments in Canva later. Now, pick your text color. If you have a specific color code, you can paste it here. Today, I'll eyeball a dark gray shade that isn't fully black. For the seconds unit, I'll go with a neutral light brown tone. If you want the timer's background to be transparent, simply check the transparent checkbox. Since I'm not using a background, I don't want a border either. To make the border transparent, open the border color dropdown and set the opacity to zero. If you'd prefer a background image, you can select one here. However, since I chose a transparent background, I'll skip this step. Once you're happy with how the timer looks, click Make Countdown, and the site will generate a URL for you. Copy this link and return to your Canva project. Find the countdown timer in your Canva template. We're going to replace it with the one you just created. First, ungroup the elements. I'll explain why grouping is useful later. Then click on the timer. Click the pencil icon to edit the link and paste the new URL. After replacing the timer, resize it by dragging the purple handles. Use the top image as a guide and center the timer using Canva's snap guides for perfect alignment. Once the countdown timer is replaced, you can leave it as is. However, I'll show you how to cover up the logo. Click on Position in the top menu and navigate to the layers. You'll see a white box I created earlier to hide the logo for the old countdown timer. Since this box is currently beneath the countdown timer, drag it to the top layer and reposition it to cover the logo. You can also create a new box yourself. Go to the Elements tab on the left menu and select a square shape. Match the box color to your background by clicking the color picker, plus, sign and using the eyedropper tool to sample your background color. Resize the box by dragging the purple handles and reposition it over the logo. Zoom in or out as needed using the bottom bar for precise adjustments. Remember earlier when I mentioned why the timer was grouped with the small square? Here's why it's important. If the countdown timer and the square aren't grouped, their animations will play separately, briefly revealing the logo. By grouping them, the animations sync perfectly, ensuring the logo doesn't show. See how seamless it looks in preview mode. That's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more in-depth Canva tips and tricks. If you love this Canva template, check out the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and have a fantastic wedding celebration.